Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation, and this is Pokemon Emerald Rogue, which is a ROM hack of Pokemon Emerald that attempts to roguelikeify the game. So there is randomly chosen routes, procedural items, trainers, and wild encounters. All of that, anything to basically turn it into a roguelike as much as it can. I'm very excited to check it out. I love Nuzlocks. This is kind of like a different take on a similar idea of turning it into like a more hardcore experience, uh, which is something I enjoy because I love Pokemon, but I also like things to be a little bit more difficult than Pokemon usually is. So in we go. Hello there. Hello. This is what we call a Pokemon. In this game, every time you embark on an adventure, the world and the Pokemon you encounter will be different. Now, time to tell me about yourself. Select an avatar. Uh, hit me with the hit me with the Brendan. Select an appearance, skin tone. Select a clothing style. Okay, we gotta go with the red. Look at that. I do kind of like the blue, but let's go with the red. So this is your avatar. It can be changed later. Okay, I mean, if it can be changed later, sure. What is your name? It is me, Rito McGee. Yes, indeed. Ah, okay. Rito! I'll be waiting for you in my lab. Come find me once you arrive. Down we go. This is not the first time I've done Pokemon, like, on my channel here, too. It's good to kind of be back to it again, since it's something that is so near and dear to me. Boop, boop. Hello. Hello, hi, Scott. Hello. Well, we're here. The Pokemon Hub. Sorry again for making you sit in the back with all the supplies. Sure, you're rare to go, but first you should speak to the professor. Okay, we do have the, the running shoes right away. Adventure is beyond this point. Okay. Professor Birch's lab. What the heck is this, then? Config. Oh, okay, okay. I mean, I'm certainly curious about it. Hello. Rito, you finally made it. I assume you're itching to go on adventures, but before you start, you need a Pokemon of your own. Went out and caught a few for you to pick from this morning. Pick whichever you like. So what do we got? Freaking Deli Bird! Uh, not yet. Poochiana. It feels a little bit too on the nose for Pokemon Emerald. Ghastly. Oh, I know that everybody will want a freaking Ghastly. But I am a dummy, and I want Silly Santa Bird. Yes, of course, I want Silly Santa Bird. Would you like to give Deli Bird a nickname? Oh, totally. Oh, we should go for some Patreon names. Let me get my Patreon list. One second. All right, let's see how much we can even fit in here. Oh, boy. We'll have to do some fudging. Oh, no, this one fits. We got a Justice Tom here. Bada bing, bada bow. Also threw some items and a Pokedex in there, too. All right. Put away the five Pokeballs in the Pokeball pocket. Potion. Okay, now you're ready to go out on adventures. Would you like me to explain how adventures work? Actually, yes. You never know what you're going to see on an adventure. The routes will swap around. The Pokemon and trainers you encounter will also change. When you finish your adventure, you'll be escorted back to the hub and will restore your bag and Pokemon back to their original states. So, for example, if you evolved your partner Pokemon while on an adventure, it will unevolve when you come back to the hub. When you return from adventures, you'll get given reward money, which you can then spend on anything you'd like in the hub. Whatever you buy in the hub, buy or use in the hub will be permanent. Extra potions, for example. Gotcha. Best way to learn about adventures is to go on many of them. Go ahead, explore, have fun. Interesting. Man, we start with a freaking deli bird. What a, what a choice. I wonder if there's anything else down here. I think that this hub eventually, if I remember from the page correctly, this will eventually get kind of expanded out as you do more and more runs. Uh, you will actually unlock and expand your little city here. Hey, Rito! Looks like you got yourself a partner Pokemon, so you're all ready to go on an adventure. Before you head off, you should take this. Quest log. That log has optional quests, which... Okay. 
for you to complete while you're out on an adventure. Completing quests can give you some nice rewards. Once you complete any incumbent, come and chat, and I'll give you your rewards. Looks like you're all good to go now. Just go and chat to the nurse over there, and you can start exploring. Okay. First of all, what the heck is this? Run stats coming in if you try. I can't worry about it. Right, let's do it. Would you like to go on an adventure? Yes. Would you like to save the game? Yes. Butterbrip. Good luck. Thank you. All right. Out we freaking go. What on earth? Okay. It's a calm course route. Do you want to enter that? Tough and gloomy. And then there's also, we could like skip ahead to something else. Let's see what the heck this means. Calm course route. Three awakenings. Three things that'll help us wake up Pokemon, okay. So we're, we're on like a randomized uh, route, but is this, isn't this, a, this is a real route. Isn't it? Okay, hold on. So we have like, what, five po- Oh my, a Torchic! Wait, that would actually be really nice to have in addition. Uh, oh god, does present do damage? You know what? I don't even know if it does do damage. I can't remember what present does. Uh, how do I freaking- That's a speed up. From my illegal Game Boy. Uh, one moment. It does damage at random with a power of 40, 80, or 120, or it can heal the opponent. So, I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm assuming that there's gonna be another Torchic in this grass. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Growl, don't worry about it. Not concerned. All right. So we have Pokeballs, right? We do. Please, oh god. I only have five, and I imagine that that's going to be a big deal in this game. Please. Please. Oh, thank god. Alright. I mean, hey. I'm liking that already. What the hell? Got three levels there, and then we got a Torchic. Give nickname to Capture Torchic? Sure. Uh, all right. Pull from the list again. One second. All right. It's all I can fit in there. We got logical echo. We'll go for logic echo. Interesting. Okay, so we got justice time. So how do we deal with healing? Three swift feathers. I don't even remember what the hell a swift feather is. What is a swift feather? Uh, raises the base speed of a Pokemon. Like, forever? That seems kind of neat. Let's check this, too. Pins, nothing new. Embark on your first adventure, defeat the... Okay, so these are basically just general achievements to do here. Gotcha. Spend money in a single visit to a rest stop. Okay, so there will be a rest stop actively. Do we, uh, all right. So we are indeed going to need some kind of actual strength there. I kind of want to just see what we're dealing with up here. If there's any kind of trainers that I need to worry about. Because the thing is, I don't know when we're going to find something like a uh, Pokemon Center. is this? Pokey toy. Used to flee from any battle with a wild Pokemon. Okay, I mean, that'll be good to have. Should I maybe, like... I don't know if it's permadeath. My money is on it's not permadeath per Pokemon, but if we ever black out, then we lose. Cubone! I love Cubone! Okay, we definitely can't have Logical Echo in here. I love Cubone, though. I would love to capture this. I'm going to be so sad if we can't. Okay, good. I, I think I want my damage downgraded a bit in case I roll B. 
big time on the present. Okay, that should be pretty good. That should be pretty good. Though, both of these suckers seem to only know Growl. Alright, come on now. Two. Three. Cubone! Logical Echo learned Ember. Sand Attack. Grew to level 12?! What the heck is going on? What kind of... What level are the trainers going to be when we fight them? Because the thing is, I, I don't want to sit here and say that that's going to be, like, completely busted. What do we have here? Uh, let me get the name. Alright, we got more than awesome in here. But yeah, I don't want to sit here and say that it's busted because I don't know what the first actual trainers are going to be like. Okay, there's actual... Can we find Pokemon in here? I think we can. Gligar. I don't know if I want a Gligar. I feel like we have... Because we kind of have... Wait, no. Torchic doesn't turn into fly, flying fire. Torchic is uh, fighting fire in the future. Uh, Delibird is... Is Delibird even flying? Technically? Yeah, okay. Ice and flying. I didn't know if it was one of those weird ones where it's like ice and normal and they just like, oh yeah, I know I look like a bird, but I'm not a flying type. So Gligar is ground and flying. We already have a ground type and a flying type separately. I don't know. I should make sure I get more than awesome out. A nice type, ice type attack would be good, but we don't have one. I don't know when Delibird learns attacks. I've never... I don't think I've ever used Delibird. Oh, don't you dare poison me. That could have been a nightmare. Oh, no. There's a... Oh, we got sand attacked. Our accuracy is down. We're running... If we get hit by another sand attack or if we get poison sting, then we get poisoned right now. I'm going to be livid. If we get poisoned, and I can't cure it, okay. I'm risking a little bit by not running away. Oh, God dang! Justice Tom, stop it! We healed him! Oh, no. We, we are playing with so much fire. Okay, thank God. Do we even level up? Logical Echo is level 14, can learn Peck. Well, that's the thing is, I did remember, we could probably get rid of Growl, right? Like, it's not that status effect moves are useless, it's just that, um, there's, there's good ones, but I don't think Growl is one of them. Okay, please tell me Justice Tom learns a move. Oh my god. More than awesome, learn Bone Club. Oh, okay, so we have, like, experience uh, share across the party. Leer reduces their defense. I don't know if that's something I'm interested in. Or wait. I mean, it's probably better than Tail Whip, right? I'm not worried about it. Okay. So, yeah, they're, they all just got leveled up to the same level. It seems like there's maybe something in the game kind of trying to even them out. Honestly, I think that maybe having more than awesome in the front is pretty reliable. Are we more likely to find ground types here? Like, is that going to be a thing? Another tour check. Okay. Not too worried. Oh, look at that Cubone sprite. That's cute. Ground is good here. I mean, so far, so fine. But hey, when is when is the first area of any roguelike been difficult? Yeah, definitely don't want to get another Torchic. Fanfy. It's another ground type. It's so cute, but 
If I, like, I don't know when I'm going to get more Pokeballs. Oh, shoot. I don't know when I'm going to get more Pokeballs, so I don't know if I want to um, really mess with wasting my time here. Okay, it looks like we didn't get any experience, so I think we might be, like, capped out. One second. Oops, sorry. I was trying to fix the uh, that gentle stutter there, which I think I might have, but I accidentally walked into a fight. So, Gligar, does Gligar have the flying type by now? I would assume so. They sure look like they should. So, ground wouldn't be effective. Flinch! Get flinched by headbutt, punk. Do it again. Harden? That's not going to do you any good, my friend. Yeah, it looks like we're hard stuck at 15. Okay, we fixed the stutter. Cool. I'm sure that was bothering some of you. Is definitely bothering me. Uh, so, there's no trainers yet. I'm assuming that that'll be, like, the next thing. I do want to at least use all of my Pokeballs here. But I don't want another freaking Cubone. As much as I love Cubone, I am not going to duplicate what I've got. We can totally just run away at this point, it seems, too. Since there seems to be a hard level cap. Oh, man. Do we need to go get a Gligar or a Fanfy? Perchance we may. There could also be, like, a rare, a rare find that we could still get, maybe? I'll tell you what, I'll take a Fanfy. Because I think just, just having more Pokemon will be nice here. Is it a bit redundant typing-wise? Sure. But I don't know how much that's going to matter. I just think that having a full squad, if I can, is going to be really important. All right. Yes. Uh, let's see here. Let me get the names. All right. Welcome aboard, Beanie Man. All right. Maybe we can check a new zone here. Some berries. Apricot berry. I, I'll admit, I never remembered what any of these berries actually do. Is never a berry user, but we may have to. We may have to care. Uh, ra whole item that raises special defense, heals from super effective moves. Interesting. Oh, you're already holding a berry. What the hell? Sure. Give this to... They get hit by super perspective. We'll go for a logical echo there. And then we'll give this to Beanie Man. We'll definitely need to get, like, another fight in here. Okay, so that, that seems to be our trainer fight. Okay, what the heck is this? That was the exit! No! No! That was the exit out! Average breezy... Okay, well, shoot. That was probably not the way to go. Oh, well. I thought that maybe there was... What the f... What? Tropius? Another flying type here. It's a little bit risky leaving in more than awesome, but it is a level 8, and I feel like we can uh, maybe flinch you. Oh, God. I was hoping to do a little bit more. Tropius. Woo! And another flinch. Get absolutely destroyed. All right. Come on. That is some pretty low HP. Oh, looking good. I wonder if there's, like, an increased... Is there an increased chance to capture or something? 
Beanie Man's trying to learn Rollout. Gets stronger every turn you use it. I'll give it a growl. Sounds good. Well, I definitely wish I didn't leave that route, but hey. What the hell is Natural Gift? The effectiveness varies depending on the berry. We have Flail. Looks more damage when in load. Defense Curl. Could be, could be useful. I honestly could not tell you how good Natural Gift is. So I'm just going to say no for now. It might be great. All right. New name here. Dead End Saint. Welcome aboard. Freaking Tropius. All right, so what are we dealing with here? Okay, we got an item in here. Genius Feathers. So I think these might be new items that increases stats, but like I don't know who I'm committed to yet. Raises the base special attack. That would be um, probably best. I don't know. Torchic's a. It turns into a fire fighting, but I don't know if that means it uses physical attacks over special attacks. Ramoraid. I. I mean, I hate this thing. But I don't have a water type. So, welcome aboard. And again, I am weak to this, but I feel like I'm not worried about it. Does Remoraid evolve into Octillery? I can't remember. Bloop. Bloop. Ba -ba 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 -ba. We got our squad. We got our strange squad. Stomp, probably. Uh, stomp. Yep. Yes, please. We'll take that. Three level 15. Okay, so it seems like we're maybe capped at 15 here. All right, Ramoraid, you you may become a favorite. I don't know. I tend to like start to like things that Pokemon that I usually think are a little ugly or weird, but I think I may start to like you. Who knows? We'll see. All right, that's the best I can do for Bearded Wonder. Bearded One, which also kind of works too. All right, so let's take a look at our squad. Wow, this is, it's certainly a strange uh, mix of Pokemon that you will really only see on a right, like a kind of randomizer situation. Okay. So, I think we do another fight to... Okay, so you're going to actually be a trainer, right? I say we do one more fight to level up uh, the Remoraid. Oh, no! I would have... <laughs> Don't tell Bearded Wonder. I would much rather have a Poliwag. We're out of Pokeballs, right? Oh, shoot. I mean, should we bother swapping? Probably not. Doesn't really matter. We should be fine. I don't think we need to really finagle this. I, I don't think that there's... It seems to be that this element... Bearded Wonder learned Psy Beam. Okay, now that's actually pretty fun. Aurora Beam? What? Wait, Remoraid? Psybeam and Aurora Beam. So you know now know a special water, psychic, and ice type attack. What the hell? I mean, thank you. Okay, so you're in an inner tube. I don't know if that'll mean that you actually use water types or not. But does Tropius know a grass type attack yet? Yeah, okay, good. Three potions. Okay, now that's exciting. All right, first actual battle. I, we should have, we should have found one a little bit ago, but 
yeah, we exited. We exited early. So what do we get as a reward for these? Because it was so out of the way that it doesn't seem like you would do it on accident. Swablu? Level five? Come on. I guess when... Um, I would imagine once you have... Uh, was it Flying Dragon? No, I don't think it's a dragon yet. Is it ever dragon? I, I'm i wondering what this is about. Because damage is... Damage stays. That's what's worth concerning yourself with. Is... I have not found a Poke Center. So taking, like, any damage is going to start to be a problem. But obviously, a level 5 is not something I'm worried about. Well fought. If you say so. Nothing. Okay. So it's kind of... It, it seems more like a punishment, more or less. So I guess at this point, we are looking for the eggs... We are looking for the exit because I think I might want to go more up to the um, the final trainer fight. Another trophies. We want to avoid damage now, which we may not fully be able to do. Oh shoot! I feel like we're gonna unlock the ability to fly and surf, or like surf and use strength and stuff like that. Remoraid, you say? No thanks, I say. Bye-bye. Where the hell is the exit, then? So, that's the bridge where the lady was walking. It must be up this way. Oh, oh I love Krabby. Don't ask why, but I love Krabby. I love Kingler. Kingler's a weird favorite of mine. From Gen 1. There's something about it. Okay. So I guess that is the reason to explore. Three genius feathers. So we would need the, the other special bike to get up that. What the hell? Where's the cave? Also, what's with this house? It's just here. Where's the cave? Might be over or off this way. Oh no. Oh no, I'm deep in the tall grass. Don't you dare. Don't you freaking dare. Okay, cave's not over here. The fact that I made that out of there without uh, summoning a new Pokemon is wild. Did we? We went up there. Oh, it is down here. Oh my god, there was another path past it. For some reason, I thought that was a wall. Dummy. But we'll avoid that one. Oh, man. I love me a polywag, but... I can't. So, it seems like you can be a lot stingier with your Pokeballs, but there's kind of muscle feathers. Ooh. It's gotta be just physical attack. It, there's kind of like a gamble element of like, do I think I'm gonna find a better thing to slot in for this archetype? Do I think I'm going to find a better one in the next, you know, X routes or whatever? Ooh. Three swift feathers. I should probably use some of these at this point. So what do we have? We've got a lot now. Uh, Base resist? Yeah, that's more than awesome. I'll just go all in. Same with Muscle Feather, because I, I'm confident you're going to be using physical attacks. That much I know. Special attacks. Speed. 
<laughs> I just like Cubone. Oh, okay, I like Cubone. What can I say? And I'll tell you what, I'll go for some here as well. Special attack. I'm less confident that I know what each Pokemon favors. These are not going to be special attack. Uh, Bearded Wonders definitely got special moves right now. Honestly, I'm most confident there. There's a chance Logical Echo, but with the fact that it turns into a uh, fire fighting, I actually can't remember if it actually uses physical attacks more. So, just because I'm confident that'll be valuable, let's do that. Okay, what the heck is this? If I go in, am I done? Fresh waters. Let's go get the other Pokeball. Antidote for poison. Fresh water, I think, is just healing, yeah? Alright, the last time I went in a building I didn't understand, I, I left, but... Oh, it's just something, like, it's a holdover from, like, the initial route or something. Okay. Man, there's a lot of stuff for uh, coming back with bikes and having cut. More speed ups. So there's the exit. Okay. For what it's worth, I am ready to exit. It's a battle prep rest stop. Sure. Hello there. Hope you're enjoying the venture. Would you like to check uh, how a Pokemon evolves? Is it different in this? Okay. Level 25. I guess Torchic must be level 16. I'm assuming they haven't added anything more. What, what level 28 for that? Aye, 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 aye. NBD, NBD. Hello, everyone. I'm the level move tutor. I can teach Pokemon moves if you like, for cost, of course. Ah. I do not have very much money. Egg move tutor. Not worried about any of that right now. Special move. I mean, cool. I don't have the stuff for it right now. Welcome to the Traveling Battle Shop. I stock held items. Oh, fun. Not going to be much of an issue right now. Enhancement. Heepy Max. What the hell happened to your truck? Interesting. I mean, we can't do anything with this. I was hoping the battle prep station was going to have, you know, some kind of healing for us, but... A mighty trainer! I'm ready. Oh, shoot. Oh, okay. We, got, we just got absorbed in. Brawly! So I think it pulls a random gym leader, and it keeps their theming, but then gives them random Pokemon of their normal type. So Brawly... I mean, I'm assuming we're going to be fighting fighting types. Which means I'm happy that I have... Do we, oh, we do not get fully healed. Oh, they're all level 15. So we have Gust. We should be fine here. Karate Chop. So yeah, this is the thing. So the gym leaders are going to have pretty hefty levels. Oh, bite the hell out of me. I, yeah, again, I'm, I'm still not sure if it is permadeath per Pokemon, but I think it's permadeath per, like, if we lose everybody. Machop. A potion heals 20, yeah? Fresh, oh, uh, fresh water heals 30. Do you have low kick? That does damage based off weight. It would still be 
which I would imagine this Pokemon is very heavy. But I'm going to I'm going to trust in the gust. Oh. Okay. Not very effective still. So wait, low sweep is different than low kick, too. Speed down, you better not go first. I'm not worried about this right now. I'm a little bit more concerned about this one. I think I'll use a fresh water and kind of like gauge out what's going on here. That's what I was going to say, because I know you know a psychic move, which I'm more... Okay, whatever. I was going to say, which I'm more concerned about than a fighting move. But Tropius is just a tank, man. When do we get our PP back? Detect. Oh, screw you. Just wastes one of my, uh, my moves. It's fine. That's why I'm using Stomp. I don't care as much. If I'm using Tropius, I probably want the uh, Razor Leaf or Gusts from them. That was not too bad. But again, first, first big trainer fight. Out of what? Freaking eight? Eight and an Elite Four? You can either ret uh, continue this adventure or retire and collect them now. Would you like to continue this adventure? Yes. Ooh. You got cut. Good luck in your future battles. Do I have to teach somebody cut? Tough, sharp. Average, corrosive. So, I'm assuming... This is saying this is calm as an easy chili. So this is where we would find potentially ice types. Average corrosive would be poison, probably. Tough sharp. The hell is sharp? Normal? Steel? I don't know if sharp is what I would I guess for yeah. Um I don't have any Pokeballs, so basically, what am I least... What am I most worried about? Oh, we got fully healed after that. Good. I don't... I don't know. I don't have great stuff for fighting Steel. I am slightly worried about poison types, you know, poisoning us. But in we go. Three energy roots. The hell? You know what? I feel like you will give me money, won't you? Probably should have done a wild battle first. To get whatever big, uh... No, you're still level 5. What the hell is that? What do you mean, level 5? I just give me... What you make me fight level 5 for? Focus energy makes our next hit either guaranteed crit or more likely to crit. I'll take it over Leer or Growl? Growl? I don't think I'm going to use it, but... Please, Justice Tom, learn any other move. Do you never... Does Justice Tom never learn a move? It's not, uh... Okay, Magical Leaf. Is a special attack. I don't know if you're a special attack user or what. You have growth. Oh, I can't check your stats. Is Tropius a special attack user or a physical attack user? I don't know. Cannot be evaded. High crit ratio. I'll say this goes with growth. I just don't know if Tropius is a special or physical user. If they're a special user, then it'd work really well to have this with growth. Ditto. Oops. 
probably should have bone clubbed. Would have been a little bit better from the same type of attack bonus. But they're level 7, 5, 5, 7? You're an absolute pushover. Ah, Logical Echo's evolving. Bop, 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 bop. They evolved into Funky Chicken. Oh, wait, that sprite looks a little bit cooler in this game. Combuskin. Double kick, absolutely. Over sand attack. I'm just not going to use it. Having a fighting type move would be nice for, you know. Now we maybe could have gone for, like, steel a little bit more comfortably. What do we got here? Ladybot. Ladybot. So we're kind of just looking for our way out here. It's interesting. Levels, like, show up really fast. Endure. Uh, endures an attack, leaving them at at least one HP. I'm probably more likely... I mean, especially with Flail? Wait. We can do something funky with Endure and Flail. Which is, it does more damage when we're at low HP. Peter one to try to learn Bubble Beam. Absolutely over Water Gun, yeah. Water Gun is a 40 damage move. Bubble Beam is just 65. It's, it's literally just a better move. Okay. Three Super Potions, good. Just find some Pokeballs, though. We do know cut. There's those trees over there. But it's like, do I really want to teach somebody cut right now? Fight me. I'm going to wipe the floor with you. Unless the Team Magma and Aqua or something are going to be a little bit actually tougher. Your pal back there was a push up. Okay, level 9. Like, it's still a, a joke for us, but... Again, when damage is, is permanent, I, I would assume it's going to stray a bit easier. But this is next level. Bone Meringue! Throws bone that strikes twice, 90% accuracy. Sure. Twenty-one. Logical Echo is trying to learn Flame Charge. Attacks in a cloak of flames and raises speed. See, it's a physical attack. I'm going to assume that you are indeed a physical attacker. It would make sense if you're going to multi-spec into freaking fighting. I, I'll admit, I never used Torchic. I was a Trico guy. Whirlwind, I don't care about. That brings out a different Pokemon. Chancy. Fuck. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, Brad. You popped the Chansey. Just absolutely exploded. Alright, so we're actually kind of looking for a way out, probably. But double uh double Pokeball here. I feel like you must shop it. I love Bennett. I like, I mean, I like shop it too, but like. But they're level 15 now. Three Brave Mints. Next special defense. I can only assume you can find. Oh, God, why did I do that? Pokeballs that way? Do we have any repels? Nope. Alright. Huh! 
It's a viper! Can't do anything with it. Let's just make sure that we can't level up more. It's a level 12. Mm. Oh, we can. Rage. Um. Nah. I would not like to rage. Bearded Wonder. No, I don't want Focus Energy on Bearded Wonder. That's fan fee, right? Okay, okay. Whoop. Skirt through. Could teach somebody cut, but I, I again, I don't want to waste. Like, I can teach somebody cut. I want to waste a, a move slot on it, though. We can just run from this. Unless... No. Don't worry about it. If there's another Sviper or something, I'll kill that instead. Oh, is that our exit already? Maybe you can just, like, go in and then leave immediately. I can kill Paris pretty easy. Uh-oh. Or not. Paris the God. It's not very effective. Oh, Paris is grass bug? Oh. Well, then I'm leaving. What is this? It's a game? Okay, fine. I need to know what a game show is. Well, hey! Welcome to my ever-so-lovingly set-up game show. This game is simple. You get two choices. One might be good, one might be bad. Now on to round one. Oh. The left it is. Well chosen. All of your Pokemon just got a bit stronger. Oh, God. On to round two. Stay left. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay, we gotta go. To maybe, maybe we leave after this. You got an extra $10,000? Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Logical Echo just got a bit weaker. That's all for now. Oh, shoot. It's a powerful Pokemon. I, I'll admit, out of curiosity... Is it just going to be a legendary? Like a random legendary that I can't catch? Oh. Let's bet. Oh. I thought you were just going to be like... Here. Oh. You have the Pokemon? No. Yes, you do. It's Stantler. Okay. Intimidate is only on swap out, right? If it's only on swap out, we want to go for Logical Echo because it's a normal type and we can just kick it. I can't remember if it's on swap out or if it's... Oh, it's been so long since I've actually played. Okay, it is only on swap out. Signal Beam! Isn't that a... Is that a bug type move? Hurt by life? You have life orb! <laughs> Increases the damage, but, uh, uh oh. Increases your damage, but makes you too. Jesus! Oh my god, okay. Well, we are. Oh boy. That was some, uh, absurd damage. Okay, so who has really high physical defense? You weren't kidding. Uh, 50. Fifty-nine is our best. Tropius could work fine. Rip. You know, switching back into more than awesome works now because um, I just didn't want to stay in because our attack got cut from Intimidate. 
But when we swap out and swap back in, our attack goes back to normal. Signal beam? I, I feel like the, I'm not... I'm, eh, I was going to say I'm not as worried about that. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on, Brad. Hit with both of these. Good. Holy crap. Life Orb Double Edge Stantler. What a legend. Justice Tom learned Drill Peck. Beanie Man wants to learn Slam. Oh, wait. Oh, I, I got them mixed up. I, I definitely want Slam, though. Right? Double damage, but has a 25% chance to miss. I'm a gambling man. You saw me go for all four of those game show things. Man. Yeah, I don't know. So here's the thing. Whether or not... Oh, Beanie Man's evolving. We got a Dawn fan. Bump, bump. Love it. Beanie Man is trying to learn Fury Attack. Sure. Do I really care? Two to five times for 15 damage. Ah, I don't care. Oh, there we go. Much better. Oh, this is going to be a huge improvement. I always... For some reason, I always get mixed up and think that Remraid turns into Octillery, or turns into um, Mantine because the little Pokemon that's attached to it. Octillery, much better. Octazooka. So there's a 15% chance that you miss, but it also cuts their accuracy. Locks onto the foe to ensure the next two move hits. Okay, fine. With a combination of the two of, of that, I will say sure. It's a little awkward, but I'll do it. That wasn't the, the, wait, that wasn't the strong Pokemon. It's a freaking La, Latios, Latios. Is this one Latios or Latios? I don't know. Um, you know, I have my regrets. Can we uh, possibly, like I can't catch it. Uh, gang, we might have a problem here. Oh my god, wait, it is permanent! It is permanent! Oh no! Oh god, no! Oh god, no! Oh god, no! That's not good. Uh, who has the best... Special defense. Oh, God, no. We're screwed, man. Draco Meteor. At, at the very least, they kind of like went a little wild with it. I'm assuming you have pretty high special defense as well. You're also, you're what, a psychic type? Is La Latios, uh, let me check. Yeah, it is, it's Dragon Psychic. So honestly, a better bet would be um, Octillery and going for the Ice Beam. Or Aurora Beam. 
What the, the, what the hell is mystical fire? It's super effective. Oh, okay. Well, they went absolutely wild with their, um... Yeah, okay. It's not gonna be good. I don't even know. Dragon's just resistant to everything. Every single freaking thing. But they... Okay, they're doing Draco Meteor again. So they're at least gonna be really weak now. Their special attack extremely fell. They killed Brad! But we should be fine now, seeing seeing the amount of damage that they did with this. My special attack fell. I mean, we're just going to keep stomping for a moment. I'm not going to risk it more in case we get, like, blasted. I will... Now that we know it's a permadeath, it is indeed permadeath. Another Draco Meteor. You, you, you know, just keep doing it. Keep going for it. I mean, hey, you know, maybe take a break in between, my friend. Yeah, the special attack can't go any lower. Okay. They're increasing their special attack for a turn. And special defense. I don't care about special defense. I'm using a physical attack. I should be fine. Psy Shock, where did this come from? Did you use up all your other moves, Ding Dong? Oh, man. That was, um... I thought for sure the Stantlor was the strong thing when it... It doesn't even give us any experience. Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh, that's so sad. Let's see. Oh, no. What well, we sh... I'll be real. Just a normal person fight shouldn't be that bad. It's probably good enough. We need to be a little a little efficient. I, I just never know when I'm going to want to use Justice Tom. Let's check our berries. Sure. Resistant to special. We can still... Oh, well, maybe we should do this instead. It's more specific. Does it not protect us from grass? But I think it's okay because who else is going to really want this other item? I guess I'll give that to Justice Tom. Oranberry just heals, though, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Okay, so I'll give this to uh, Dead End Saint. Oh my god, man. Stantler with a freaking life orb? You what, mate? Oh, is this... Let me heal you or something? Look, kid, I'll give you a single free heal. After that, you're gonna have to pay. Gotcha. Uh, jerk. Level 25 is the current cap. Are we at that? We're at that. We're done. I'm not worried about it. Okay, I actually don't know how this is gonna go depending on the typing here. God, what is this? Tate and Liza. This is um, psychic types, aren't? Is it a psychic type? I'm not. I don't have anything good against psychic. But I also don't have anything bad against psychic. Do we have to double battle? No. Okay. All right. This is good. We have a 15% chance to miss. I don't think it's worth locking on. Oh, Jesus, that is some damage. That was a lucky, uh, lucky Pokemon I have in. Metang. Oh, uh, you know what would be good here? Oh. A Combustion would be pretty good here. Dude, I have no idea who I want in for that. For Metang, Steel, and Psychic? I think it has Levitate as well, so I can't hit it with, uh... Oh, I don't have any ground types. It's not gonna be you. Dead End Saints? 
Oh lord. It might be Bearded Wonder. Here's what I'm going to do. I am going to get more data here. See what you're going to try and use if you think I am leaving in Octillery and see how much it does. Metal Claw. How much does that do here? It's not that bad. Okay. Ay ay ay. Metang. Oh my god. I. So, Steel. Steel and Psychic together. I don't think I have anything that. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I have anything that's good against it. I, no, I don't. Uh, what do I have that's not bad? Let me check here. They're neutral to water. They are neutral to fighting. Water fighting bug. All right, we're gonna just we're gonna Octazooka. The question is, should I lock on? Potentially waste a turn locking on. Oh my god. Man, I'm so happy that I gave um, Bearded Wonder the special attack upgrades. I think it's paying dividends here. I really think it's paying dividends. Zatu? Uh, theoretically, we could Aurora Beam. Is Aurora Beam going to be better than... I think it will be. Light Screen, I think that's special defense. Yep. Smart. Yeah. Thunder Wave, I'm glad that missed. Not a big deal, though. I think if we just keep spamming Aurora Beam, we'll be okay. That special defense wall will go down shortly here. Yeah, there's the Thunder Wave. Chance to not be able to attack. And we always go second now. Didn't matter here. Good. Bald toy. Uh, ground Psychic. Octazooka should be pretty clean. Don't tell me. Okay. Yeah, Octillery has like a shockingly good special defense here. The... I wonder if... The light screen didn't save your life there, I don't think, right? Man, Octillery. Never getting hit by the Paralyze. Never missing Octazooka. Holy mole. That one Stantler was way tougher than anything else there. We got Flash. Good luck in your future battles. Good deal. Well, I'll tell you what. Wait, what is... Wait, what? Oh, that's like we can... Uh, pause and come back. Uh, I'll tell you what I'll do. I will do that. And there's a chance that I might just play this tomorrow. I really, really had a good time. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see more of this. I the Let's see. The website here said the average run is like... Oh, okay, so rest and we go back to the beginning. Gotcha. Uh, the average run is like two to three hours, supposedly. I feel like the first one you, of, of things like this usually takes a bit longer. But yeah, I really enjoyed this. Um, and especially now that I know that it is permadeath on the Pokemon, the difficulty is back in order. It, it is weird because those initial trainers, the levels are just like a little low for me to be like, they're scary, but then, hey, maybe it, it's just that they're there to do chip damage because the fact that you don't have like super clean, reliable uh, healing, unless you get a lot of money, you know, you have to worry about that. Uh, I think it's a clever thing. Very, very curious. This has been Pokemon Emerald Rogue, though. My name is Retromation. I cover indie games every single day with an extra specialty in roguelikes. You know, we kind of branched out here a little bit today going for a ROM hack. It's still independently developed, uh, I believe, by one person here, which is so impressive. I'll have a link to it in the, uh, the description. But, you know, 
the rest of the means on how to play it, I'm not going to go into, but there will be a link at the top description for where to find Pokemon Emerald Rogue. So, alas, great time. If you guys want more, let me know. Uh, it is it kind of scratches that Nuzlocke itch with a little bit more of a direct mainline focus on the roguelike elements. Very cool. Anyway, thank you for watching. Check the channel, Rogues, more every single day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!